So we are at 135 BPM and for this beat I started by taking this melodic sequence and hive. Uh, what I recommend with those beats is you take a sequence or an ARP uh, from any VST and it will just sound good from the start and it will give you an idea. So this is what it sounds like. Then I layered this with some chords from Serum and this is what it sounds like. For the effects on that, I got Thermal, which basically just adds a little bit of texture and changes the sound. I added an effect tricks that adds movement to the chord because when it's just the plain chords, then it kind of sounds lame and boring. So with the effect tricks, it sounds uh, more interesting. Next thing I got is this uh, key from Serum, which I made into a Narpel, and this is what it sounds like. So you can see how it's still playing when there's no note and that's because I went into setting panels of the VST and then I turned up the feedback on the delay and the pitch I put it up so there's four echoes which are one octave higher so this is why it sounds like this without the delay it sounds like this. Then I added a lead for the melody and this is what it sounds like. Uh, one thing I like to do in my leads is um, you see how this note is not in the scale when there's like a triplet or I don't know three notes like this I like to put an off scale note in between those two notes and it sounds very good and interesting and yeah that's it for the melody this is what the whole melody sounds like together <laughs> Then for the drums, I went into Cody's Flying Nimbus kit and I got this 808 and this is what it sounds like. Next I got this clap. And I got this snare. Next I got those hi-hats again from Cody's kit. I put down this open hat, this other open hat that hits on the first so uh, the beat is kind of harder when it drops. Oh yeah and I got this other 808 pattern which is a bit crazier uh, for the verse. So this is what the drums sound like all together. Next for the effects in between uh, the verse and the second chorus, I got this low pass filter that just makes it drop harder so this is what it sounds like. So yeah, that's pretty much how I make beats for Southside Silhouette all in tracks. So make sure to follow me so you don't miss any other tutorial. Oh, 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 oh,